Magandang gabi, daughters of God. Daughters of God. You are? Daughters of God. Amen. So, ngayon, tuloy-tuloy ulit tayo mag-aaral na hindi makasabit yung mga lalaki. <laughs> Asensya na, pero uh, sa ngayon, ang bida muna ay makababa. Pero, however, uh, dahil ako man, isang lalaki na ako mismo yung first hand na nakapag-aaral yung topic, ay na-bless din. So, I believe na na mag-bless din kahit ang mga lalaki. Amen? Amen. Yan. At most especially, kung paano natin pakalagahan ng mga babae. Yan. Di ba tama ba? Yung mga lalaki yung pinakatan ng mga last two meetings natin, na-miss ninyo kung paano, um, kung gaano kahalaga ang mga babae. Tama ba, no? Nung nalaman natin last meeting, na uh, hindi pala kahit sino ay walang lalaki na pwedeng makapagbigay o makapagbibigay sa babae ng presyo. Tawa? Kaya na pag natin, because we, we studied last night, or last last night, na we were created, or you, are, you were created with an infinite price. Amen? So, ako ay nalulungkot, ako ay nalulungkot sapagkat merong mga bago tayo no, na hindi nila narinig yung last two topics natin. But anyways, tayo pa rin yung papatuloy at hopefully ay uh, mag-bless pa rin tayong lahat most especially mga 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 bago. And secondly, ako rin ay nalulungkot do sa mga wala ngayon. Kasi talagang ay parang parang baga ang mas gusto ko sana maating na yung ngayon kasi ngayong gabi, ito ay pinaka special din siya. Di ba lagi bilang bigit special lahat ng tabi. Special siya sapagkat ngayong gabi ay malalaman natin ang isang bagay na kailangan naman natin gawin. O kailangan yung gawin bilang mga babae. But before we start, I would like to invite you to pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, once again, we are pleading for your mercy. Lord, I might not know, I might know the, the topic this evening. I have studied it very well. But without the, the Spirit, without the Holy Spirit of God, and without your glory, I will be just a hypocrite here in front. So I pray, O oh Father, that may you hide me there at the cross of Calvary. That may, that may this evening Jesus and Jesus alone will be lifted up. And I pray, O oh Father, that may you take all the glory Take away my son, and you alone will be glorified. I pray that may this evening, sisters of mine, and even my brothers, brothers of mine, will be drawn closer to you. And may we, we will never be the same again after this program. Thank you so much, O oh Father, for hearing us your prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So last two nights, or last two meetings, we studied about of course, the, the title of our series is all about what? Daughters of God. And um, na, eh, hindi ko na-explain siguro to last night, last last night, na the reason why daughters of God, kasi hindi ko talaga pinili yung about sa relationship. First and foremost, dahil wala pa akong, wala pa akong girlfriend. And second, dahil um, I believe na kapag kayo mismo ay nalaman ninyo yung value ninyo. Amen? Pag nalaman ninyo yung ba- ba- tignan nyo ha, yung isang bagay na alam ninyo sobrang mahal, ay hi- like for example, nirigalo lang yun sa inyo, tapos sobrang mahal siya, hindi nyo siya kaya ibigay kahit kanino, tama? Hindi siya pwedeng yung, yung ibigay mo lang, oh sige, pwede mong pagnaruan niya, no, pwede mong pagnaruan. Na, hindi ko pwedeng ganun, di ba? Kasi alam mo yung value na ay napakamahal, tama ba? So, what if you, with an infinite value, are you going to let somebody to, to, to na napaglaruan lang kayo, no? Parang, parang hirap naman yun. So, ibig sabihin, kaya napili ko tong topic na ito sapagkat gusto ko i-lift up yung value ninyo bilang babae. Amen? Sapagkat kapag napahalagahan ninyo yung value ninyo, that I believe you can even glorify God with your relationship later on. Amen? And napag-aralan natin the first night, napag-aralan natin Yung title natin is all about creation. Tama? Napag-aralan natin that even in the creation account, God showed already your infinite value 
anyway, the title of our lesson, the, the, the first night, or, 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 the title of our lesson is what? It is not good. Okay? And napag-aralan natin that on the topic, we have God has three regards of you, right? What is the first regard of God? Towards if if is the completeness of Adam. And second, she is the companion of Adam. And third, she is the calling gift for Adam. Alam nyo, hindi, ko, hindi kasi natin wala di bang powerpoint yun na hindi nagbumanin yung laptop. Meron doon quotation na napaganda. Sabi doon, dahil si Eve ay isang crowning gift para kay Adam. Sabi doon sa Conflict and Courage, page 16, paragraph 3. Sabi doon, nung nagkasala si Eve at nung nakita ni Adam na kumain si Eve yung prutas, alam ni Adam yung consequence ng mangyayari. Pero, yung blessing na binigay ng Panginoon kay Adam, yung companionship ni Adam sa mga angel, yung companionship ni Adam kay Jesus, yung, yung pagkakaroon ng dominion ni Adam sa lahat ng creation, lahat yun ay na-outvalue because of His love to Him. As sabi doon, because of that one gift, all that blessings were outvalued. At sabi doon, handang mamatay si Adam kasama yun. Ganun kamahal ni Adam si Eve, amen? amen. Pero yun nga lang, yung pagmamahal na yun ay nasobrahan na dumating sa uh, the extent na pati ang Panginoon ay pinagpalit niya. But anyways, mamay makikita natin na nangyayari yun ngayon. Okay? And the second night, pinag-aralan natin is what? The virtuous harlot, no? Medyo, medyo uh, ang term dito ni Glenn ay Anong term ni Glenn dito? Oxy, ox, oxymoron, no? Yung, yung, hindi daw pwedeng pagsamahin yung mabuting uh, word, yung sa masamang word, yung virtuous harlot. So, kasi ito ay irony na kung saan nakita na rin that despite that Rahab is a harlot, but then God recognized her. And last night, napag-aralan natin, or tama, last, last night, that Rahab was she conditions, and that is our conditions as well. What is the first? She is from Jericho. And because she is from De Jericho, she deserves destruction. And second, she is a harlot. And because she is a harlot, according to culture of Israel, harlot is the most fear or is the most fear Israelites. And third, she lives on the wall of Jericho. And we studied last, last night that because she lives on the wall of Jericho, she is the most outcast person among the outcast person. No? Kasi outcast na nga yung mga, yung mga Jericho, ibig sabihin sila ay uh, idolatrous country sila. And so therefore, and, and Rahab lives on the wall of Jericho, and so therefore, Rahab is the most outcast among them. And despite the fact that Rahab lives in Jericho, despite the the fact that she is a harlot, and despite the fact that she lives on the wall of Jericho, still God has three, has how many? Three recognitions about her, and what, what are those? First, God recognized her what? Faith. And second, as she follows. And third, her future. And we studied last night, last, last night that this future is no other than Jesus Christ. Amen? That future refers to Jesus Christ wherein Rahab is the grand-grandmother of Jesus. And this evening, this is very special. You know what? Because this evening, we're going to study a topic that will uh, move you to act out your value. Ibig sabihin, gagamitin nyo na yung value nyo. So, balik ko din tayo Ayan, sobra tayo, ayan. Balik ko din tayo sa laptop. Ayan, sabi ko naman sa iyo, wala ko ibang alam na illustration ko din yung laptop. Pero anyways, hopefully sana ay matapos itong series na ito, at least yung natanda ninyo ay laptop. Okay? So, ngayon, yung laptop, balik tayo sa laptop. Mas sabi ko, walang ibang makapagbibigay ng exact value ng laptop, kundi yung yung gumawa, yung inventor. And walang makapagbigay ng inyong exact value, kundi yung 
yung creator ninyo, creator natin, no other than Jesus, or no other than God. And the pag-aralan din natin, na kapag nasira yung laptop, na wala yung hard drive, sino lang yung tangi makapagbibigay ng solusyon yun, yung pinaka-the best na magbigay ng solusyon? Yung gumawa rin. And so therefore, na pag-aralan natin the second night, na walang ibang makapagbibigay ng solusyon sa condition natin ngayon, kundi ang Panginoon. And this evening, I would like to tell you, this laptop cost 50,000. Okay? 50,000. Now, if that laptop, that laptop was given, let's say, to Remy. Yeah, Remy. Binigay siya kay Remy, yung laptop. 50,000 rem. Binigay lang sa rem. Brand new. Okay? Binigay lang kay Remy. Ngayon, Ang tanong, paano niyo malalaman na worth it yung 50,000? Ha? Pwede ba sabihin na worth it yung 50,000 kung yung laptop ay nag-malfunction? No? Bigla yung unang gamit mo pa lang, bigla, oops, patay agad. Ha? Pwede ba sabihin na gano'n na worth it yon? Ha? Hindi, no? So, ibig sabihin, the value na meron yung laptop, yun yung nag-determine kung gaano dapat siya mag-function. Tama ba? Tama ba? Let's say, you. What is your value again? What is your value again? Infinite value. Infinite value. Now, the question. Is that worth it? Are the things that you are doing right now is worth Christ dying for? Are the things you are doing right now is worth Christ dying for? Nakuha nyo na? Nalaman yun yung unang gabi na create pala ako with an infinite value. However, because of sin, wala yung infinite value na yun. But thanks be to God because He brought Jesus Christ in my life. That's why God brought that again, that infinite value to me. And now the question, if you accepted already Jesus Christ and you have already that infinite value once more, once again, now the question, are the things you're doing right now worth Christ dying for? Worth it ba yung, yung infinite value na yun sa ginagawa natin ngayon? Or yung infinite value na yun, nung binigay sa'yo ng Panginoon, then eh, wala na agad. Nakuha niyo ba? Nakuha niyo ba? And that's why this evening, we are going to study a very special topic. Why? Because this evening, we are going to study something na kung paano ninyo magagamit yung infinite value na yun for the glory of God. Amen? And this evening, the title of our topic is what? My father is joy. The subtitle is When a woman saves a man's soul. When a woman saves a man's soul. Now, to give you a background, the thing that we are going to study this evening, or the topic that we are going to study this evening, is all about the story of Abigail. Who again? Abigail. Now, mamaya na, mamaya na. Mamaya na yan. So, who among you here knows Abigail? Ab Abigail. Huh? Abigail. Uh, yeah, yes, she's not here. Kasi, uh, wala si Abigail, no? Uh, wala si Abigail dito. Tama. Uh, oh. So, absent si Abigail. No, hindi siya yung kaklas ninyo, hindi siya yung roommate ninyo. Abigail is one of the characters in the Bible. Amen? And Abigail is one of, one of, okay? One of, one of the wives of David. Now, who is Abigail? To give you background, kasi gusto natin pag-aralan ngayon yung character ni Abigail, but before to, before I give that that characters, I would like to give you a background. Now, this is what happened. Si David, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng story, lahat ito makikita sa Bible, pero isa-summarize ko na lang. Summary, summary ko na lang. Ngayon si David, siya ay naging fugitive. Ano sa tagalog ng fugitive? Naging, magpalaan yung tulisan, no? Ano, ha? Hindi naman kriminal. Wala naman siya ginawang krimen. Naging fugitive, uh, 
Yung alam niyo yung tumakas sa kulungan, anong tawag doon? Ha? <laughs> may tawag, may tawag din eh. Tuma tumawag sa ano? Tumawag? Tumakas? Tumakas sa kulungan? <laughs> ha? Escaping. Mama. Ex-convict? Hindi! Tumakas ni! Ha? Tulisan? Basta, okay, positive. Okay, basta positive. Gato kasi nangyari. Si, si Saul, o si Saul, ang, ang gusto niya mangyari, di ba naalala niyo si Saul, yung, yung, hindi na siya naging magandang king. Una, maganda pa yung kanyang pamamalakad bilang king ng Israel. Yung, pero later on, hindi na naging maganda yung pamamalakad niya, yung administration niya. So, ang nangyari na yun, ang nangyari na yun, instead na siya dapat yung maging king, ang naging king na si David. Pero ayaw ni Saul na iwanan yung kanyang throne. So, ang nangyari ngayon, nagkaroon ng conflict hanggang gustong patayin ni Saul si David. Okay? Naalala niyo yung story ng friendship ni David at ni Jonathan? So, naalala niyo yun, no? So, ngayon na nangyari, itong si Saul, gusto niyang patayin si David. Pero, however, however, si David, nagkaroon siya ng dalawang pagkakataon para sana patayin niya si Saul. Pero doon pinatunayan ni David na hindi at ayaw ni David na madungisan yung kanyang pangalan, yung kanyang kamay sa pamamagitan ng pagpatay niya kay Saul. Because David knows that Saul is an anointed king. And so nung ngayon ang nangyari, ayaw patayin ni David si Saul at pinatunayan ni David, hindi kita, may pagkakataon kita ang patayin pero hindi kita pinatay. So ngayon pinatawad siya, uh, for a short time pinatawad siya ni Saul. Pero nandun pa rin yung selfish na ni Saul. So, nangyari, after that second instance na dapat papat, pwede nang patayin ni, ni David si Saul, pero hindi niya ginawa, namatay naman si Samuel. Because of old age. You know Samuel, the prophet who anointed Saul and David as a king of Israel. So, ngayon ito yung nangyari. Yung, yung nangyari yun, namatay na si Samuel, si David, nananatili pa rin siyang fugitive, or tulisan, or... Um, matalino daw. Basta tumatakas pa rin siya nandun sila sa wilderness. Wala silang pagkain. So ngayon, ang ginawa ni David at yung kanyang mga kasama, yung kanyang mga alagad, ang ginawa nila, inalagaan nila yung tupahan o yung tiyatawag na kawan. Alam niyo yung kawan? Yun yung mga, yung grupo ng mga tupa. Ngayon, inalagaan nila yung grupo ng tupa ni Nabal. Sino ulit? Si Nabal. Si Nabal ay asawa ni Abigail. Sino si Nabal? Asawa ni Abigail. Ito yung nangyari. Ngayon, inalagaan nila David, then later on, nagkutom sila David. Pumunta sila kay Nabal, at ang sabi ni Nabal, sino si David? So ngayon, hindi binigyan sila ni Nabal kasi si Nabal ay isang sakim na lalaki. So ang nangyari ngayon, bumalik yung messenger ni David kay David at sabi nila, hindi tayo binigyan ni Nabal. Nagalit na yun si David. At anong ginawa ni David? Sumugod siya with his 400. 400 men, sumugod siya papunta kay Nabal para patayin si Nabal. However, alam ito ng messenger din ni, ni, ni Nabal na kung saan particular ni messenger siya ni Abigail. So ano yan? Itong messenger na to, pumunta agad siya kay Abigail at sinabi niya na si David ay papunta dito at gusto niyang patayin si Nabal, ito ang nangyari. This now is the, the start of the story. Nangyari, naghanda si Abigail. Hindi ito pwedeng mangyari, sabi ni Abigail. Naghanda siya, nagbadali siya, at sinalubong niya si David. At alam niyo kung anong ginawa niya? This evening, we are going to study three. How many? Hindi ako magaling sa pronunciation sa English, no? So, tatlo. Okay? Tatlong pag-aaral na natin ng gabi are the three rebukes that Abigail gave to David. How many? Three. And what are those three? They are what? Rebukes. And those rebukes are not actually rebukes, but they are the characters of Abigail. And that, that's why this evening, we're going to study Abigail's three characters first. First, Abigail is what? Abigail is a woman full of what? Wisdom. That's why 1 Samuel 25 says, verse 2. 
Or verse 3, and the name of his wife, his wohu, Abigail, and she was a what? A woman good of understanding. What is the first character of, characteristic of, of Abigail? Good understanding. Now let's read once again. 25 verse, 25 verse, 25 says, let not my Lord, ito na yung nakasalubong na ni Abigail si David, let not my Lord, I pray thee, regard this man of Bilyal, even Nabal, for as his name. So, is he, ano ibig sabihin yun? Yung pangalan niya mismo, siya yun. Nakuha niyo ha? Ano ibig sabihin ng pangalan Nabal? The meaning of Nabal is foolish. So therefore, Abigail is just telling David, King David, no, don't do this. Why? Because that man is a foolish man. Kalahin mo, asawa mo. Pero alam mo, ito yung nakatawa mo. Despite na foolish si Nabal, hindi siya binivorce ni Abigail. Ganun kabuti at ganun ka-faithful si Abigail. Amen? At ito yung nangyari. Nabal is his name and folly is, with, folly is with him. But, but what? But, when when the word but occurs, what does that mean? What does that, what does that mean? It means what? Contrast, right? So ngayon, si Nabal ay negative, tama? Foolish. So ngayon, pag sinabi niyang but, yung kasunod yun ay positive. And who is that but? Ay! Nakuha nyo, Nabal is foolish but I, and therefore he, she is what? Wise. Amen? Nakuha nyo ba? Nag-guess ba? And so therefore, uh, Abigail, even Abigail is claiming that she has that good understanding. And she claimed that because that is a gift from God. Now verse 26 says, Now therefore my Lord, now, therefore, my Lord, as the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, seeing the Lord hath withholden thee, what? From coming to shed blood, and from avenging thyself with thine own hand. Alam niyo kung ano yung nakakatawa ay Abigail? Ginawa ni Abigail yung pagpigil kay David. Why? Kasi gusto ni Abigail na inigtas mismo ang buhay ni David. Not only to save the life of Nabal, but Abigail wants to save the life of David. What life? The reputation of David. Now, what, what, what reputation? David was called in the Bible as the apple after God's own heart. God's own heart eyes. Ibig sabihin, si David ay isang ideal king. The problem is, kung siya'y ideal king, pag siya'y nabahiran ng dugo, ano na mangyayari sa kanya? Hindi na siya pwede maging ideal king. Na nakukuha ninyo? So therefore, God used Abigail to protect David. And Abigail has that willing heart because of that wisdom. He sa she saved David. Second, Daughters of God 42, paragraph 3, with nothing of ostentation or pride, but what? Full of the wisdom and love of God. Galing pa sa akin yan, that came from the book, Daughters of God, that is our title, as sabi doon, but full of the wisdom and love of God. Abigail is full of wisdom and love of God. That's why, Abigail, is a woman full of wisdom. Second, what is the first one? Abigail is full of wisdom. Second, he is, she is what? She is a woman with the what? Humble words. Let's read. First Samuel, 25 verse 10. This is very interesting. Dito tayo medyo ma mahabaan. And Nabal answered David's servant. Ito yung sagot ni Nabal nung nag-request si David ng pagkain. Sabi ni Nabal, what, what did Nabal say? say? Who is David? Who is David? Tayo pagwari nang hindi kayo ng, ng pagkain. For example, uh, si JR, mangingisang si JR, 
Uli Dominic, pahingi naman ng tinapay. Sino ka ba? Diba? Nakakuha niyo na yung ano, nag-gets niyo yung context? Kaya galit na galit si David eh. Diba? Sino ba si David? Sabi ni Nabal. Nakuha niyo? So ganun na lang, katindi yung salita ni Nabal. Kasi nga foolish siya. Pero pansinin niyo yung salita ni Abigail. Verse 24. And Abigail, Abigail fell at his feet and said, Upon me what? My Lord, Abigail, Nabal, said, Who is David? But Abigail considered, considered David as her Lord, meaning her master, my master, my Lord, upon me let this iniquity be. Ganon kahambol yung salita ni Abigail. Let's read once more. Verse 30. Daughters of God, 42, paragraph 3. Abigail addressed David with what? As much reverence as though speaking to a crowned monarch. Nabal had scornfully exclaimed, it is a na, who is David? But Abigail called him, my Lord. With kind words, with humble words, she sought to suit his irritated feelings and she pleaded with him in behalf of her husband. Now the question, are there still Christian woman right now? Are there still woman right now with her words? She can shoot out the irritated feeling. Are there still woman like Abigail right now? And David said to Abigail, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel which sent thee this day to meet me. Why? Verse 33, And blessed be thy what? Advice. As sabi ni David, salamat sa advice mo. Why? And blessed be thou, which has kept me, this sabi ko sa inyo kanina, which has kept me this day from coming to shed blood and from avenging myself with my own hand. Nagpasalamat si David because of that wisdom that, that, uh, Nung later on, lumabas doon sa humble words ni Abigail at sabi ni David, salamat sa iyong advice. Kasi kung hindi, dahil doon, sinadungisan ang aking mga kamay ngayon. And so David received of her hand that which she had brought him and said unto her, Go up in peace to thee this house. See, I have heeded your voice. See, I have heeded. Are there still women like Abigail right now? Who men, who men will heed her voice? Meron pa ba mga babae ngayon na ang lalaki ay handang sumunod sa kanyang sinasawi? Amen? Amen? Pa Padres and Prophets 667, paragraph 1 says, These words could have come only from the lips of one who had partaken of the wisdom from above. And so therefore I tell you this, and, and I want to tell you this evening, my sisters, that, that wisdom, that humble words will only, you can only have those things from God. How? With the Bible that you are holding right now. The Spirit of the Son of God was abiding in her soul. Her speech, we her what? Her speech, seasoned with grace and full of kindness and peace, shed a heavenly influence. Abigail is a woman. But his father said, Abigail was a wise what? Reprover and counselor. Yung narinig ni David, yung salita ni Abigail, narinbiyok si David. Ah, sabi niya, oops, anong ginagawa ko? The question now, are there still women right now who can stand before God, who can rebuke a man? Or many of the women right now, standing before God, tempting man. It's a very sad thing. That's why Abigail is a woman 
of humble words. Third, last, Abigail is a woman of what? Worthiness. What is the first one? Full of wisdom. Second, humble words. And third, woman of worthiness. How? First Samuel 25 verse 3 says, And she was a woman of what? Good understanding, wisdom, and of what? Beautiful countenance. Now, lucky kami kay Abigail. May maganda pala si Abigail. Maganda rin naman kayo. No? Sa paningin ko. Pero, hindi ko alam sa iba. So, ngayon, sabi doon, bakit muna tayo doon? Sabi doon, with beautiful countenance. Alam nyo ba, pag binasa nyo yung buong kuwento ni Abigail, yung beautiful countenance dito, hindi lang siya tumutukoy sa ganda ni Abigail. How? Verse 35 says, So David received of her hand that which she had brought him and said unto her, Go up in peace to thy house. See, I have heeded your voice. And what? Wow! David, an anointed king of God. David, whom Abigail called my Lord. David told her, I respected Person. I just a woman right now who a man can say, I respect you as a daughter of God. I just a woman right now who a man can say, I respect you as a daughter of God. Pastor and Prophet 667 Park upon the piety, the countenance. The image, the beauty, the face of Abigail, like the what? The fragrance of a flower breath out all unconsciously in what? Face and what? Word and what? Action. The spirit of the Son of God was abiding in his soul. Amen? Amen. That's how beautiful Abigail is. It's not because of face, but it's because Christ dwells inside her. There's nothing, even makeup, that can beautify a woman, but only Jesus who dwells inside her. David's passion died away. Wow! David's passion died away. You guided me, David. You kanyang gustong gawin ay na, nawala. Why? Under the power of what? Her influence. Wow, what a wonderful woman, what a wonderful daughter of God, Abigail is. And that's why Abigail is a woman of worthiness. This evening, I would like to tell you that your infinite value is worth Christ died for. How God wants you to be a woman full of wisdom. God wants you to be a woman with humble words. And God wants you to be a woman of worthiness. Let's read Proverbs 7. Let's read Proverbs 7. Proverbs 7 says, And be held among the simple ones. And be held, I would like to give you a problem this evening. And be held among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths, a young man, Void of understanding. Isa daw lalaki, isang batang lalaki, isang kabataan. Void of understanding. Passing through the street, near her corner, near gazebo, near parking area, near uh, cafeteria, or whatever place. Went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. What happened next? And behold, there met him. What? A woman, a woman with what? The attire of a harlot. Might be this woman is not a harlot, but she was recognized as a harlot because of her what? Attire and subtle of heart. 11 to 12. She is what? Loud and stubborn. Who is Abigail? Once again, what is the first characteristic of Abigail? Full of wisdom, but this woman, a harlot woman, was defined by, by, described by Solomon as loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now 
through the streets and lie in wait at every corner. What is the second characteristic of Abigail? Humble words. But look at this woman with her what? Much fair speech. With the humble words of Abigail, Abigail saved David. But with the fair speech of this harlot woman, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. Now, what is the warning of what is the warning of Solomon? Listen unto me, therefore, O ye children, and attend to my words of my mouth. What next? Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. Why? For she had cast down because of her speech, because of her flattering words, because of her beautiful words. Unlike the words, unlike the humble words of Abigail, David, Solomon says, many strong men have been slain. With the humble words of Abigail, David was saved, but with the flattering words of this woman, many strong men were slain by her. The question, are you that woman? The question, are you that woman? Are your words, are your words lead your brothers to salvation? Or are your words lead them to death? Praise be to God because of this hope. As well, Proverbs once again, who can find what? A virtuous woman. For her price is what? More, far above than rubies. What is a ruby? Ruby is a kind of precious stone where no one can find it easy. Ruby is better than diamond actually. Now, how did this woman become a virtuous woman? She opens her mouth with what? Wisdom. And her tongue is the law of kindness. Wow, this is Abigail. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also. And he praises her because he, she is a woman of worthiness. And how what happened? Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excel them all. Favor is deceitful, beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her. You can choose right now, my sisters. Are your infinite value Christ, where Christ died for? Are you the woman? Like Abigail, who's full of wisdom, humble words, a woman of worthiness, or you are the woman who led your brothers to death. Before I end, and as the first song prepares, we would like to read this quotation from you. After you, daughters of God, forty-three paragraph four says, in the character of Abigail, wow, the wife of Nabal, we have an illustration of womanhood after the order of Christ. Wow. Abigail is the woman after the order of Christ. <coughs> womanhood. When her husband illustrates when a man may become, he yields himself to the control of Satan, a consecrated, this is a, a com comment to Abigail, a consecrated Christian life is ever shedding light and comfort and peace. It is characterized by purity, tact, simplicity, and usefulness. It is controlled by the unselfish love that sanctifies the influence. It is full of Christ and leaves a track of light wherever its possessor may go. Abigail was a wise reprover and counselor. David's passion died away under the power of her influence and reasoning. Next, he was convinced. Who was? Who, 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 who is the one who, who was convinced? 
David, David was convinced that he had taken an unwise core and had lost control of his own spirit. Paano siya na convinced? Through whom? Abigail. And what happened next? With a humble heart, he received the rebuke from Abigail. You see now, Abigail re really rebuked David. But he did not say to David, Oh David, I will rebuke you. No, nor, nor Abigail told, told him a very strong word. But Abigail just have the wisdom from God. Just have a humble words. Just have that worthiness of a woman. And you know what? You know what, my sisters? gave thanks and blessings because she advised him righteously. Abigail is a woman a standing rebuke for men. The question right now, you know what, what is the meaning of Abigail? The meaning of Abigail is our title this evening. My father is child. You know what? What? what why is? Why is the meaning? What? Bakit ang meaning ng kanyang father is my father's joy? Because the joy of Abigail is the joy of seeing man or men coming to Christ for salvation. What is your joy this evening? What is your joy this evening? How is your life, my sisters? How is our life? Even my brother is here. How is our life? Is our life a standing rebuke to men? Pag nakikita pa tayo ng mga lalaki, oh, Panginoon, patawarin mo ako. Or, kapag, kapag nakikita tayo ng, ng mga lalaki, Panginoon, Tawarin mo ako. No? Bakit? Iba yung nakita. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking frankly this evening, sisters. Many men has been lost their salvation because of me. I'm speaking from the heart as a man. I almost, I almost praise me to God because He rebuked me. I almost, I have the experience. That's why I know. That's why I know. And I can tell you this evening, and I can tell you this evening that the very weakness of a man is a woman. But let me tell you something, my sisters. The one who can lead men to Christ is you. Amen? Amen. Who are you this evening? Who are you? I would like to appeal. Thus, the appeal song sings. I pray that may continue contemplate with the messages in me. And ask God, Lord, is my life a standing rebuke to men? Or is my life a temptation to them? Lord, help me. I don't know how to be a woman after your own heart. I don't know, Lord, how to become your daughter. But I believe that through Jesus Christ, you can make me that one. And through the wisdom coming from you, through the humble words from you, and through the worthiness that coming only from you, I can glorify you later on. And I can be an instrument to save my dear brothers and let you and let them at the feet of Calvary. I pray that may this evening you will call your father.